Well, our big story tonight, a former Mesa police officer has been indicted on two felony counts of domestic violence, including spying on his girlfriend. The 12 News I team first brought you this story of a Mesa canine officer, Scott Callender, who had a turbulent past with women he dated. Four women police officers accused him of emotional or physical abuse over the span of more than two decades. Callender remained on the force and was never charged with a crime until now. Joe Dana was in court today where Callender pleaded not guilty. The now retired Mesa police officer appearing before a judge this morning and claiming through his attorney that this case is about rumors, not evidence. Sir, would you please state your name and your date of birth for the record? Scott Callender. What finally landed Scott Callender in court after years of serious complaints was a claim of snooping. That should be a red flag. The veteran canine officer had been cleared by a criminal investigation after three female police officers he dated alleged he threatened, harmed, or stalked them. But then a fourth woman emerged, telling police earlier this year that while she was dating Calendar, he planted a recording device in her car to spy on her phone conversations. According to police records, Calendar knew it was not right, but he had to know if she was being loyal to him. She also accused Calendar of prying in her emails and secretly downloading text messages. A grand jury slapped Calendar with a felony charge of intercepting communications, something domestic violence experts say is serious. At the root of all of, all of domestic abuse is about power and control. When you find out that somebody is watching, listening into your conversations or tracking any type of communication, that should be a red flag. Calendar is also charged with breaking that same woman's ribs in 2017, a charge Calendar's attorney said was already cleared by the Mesa PD's investigation last year. You have to understand that this is a lot of gossip that is really, really they're airing a lot of the laundry from the Mesa Police Department. And so gossip does not equate to evidence, and that's pretty much what this case is about. Mesa police confirmed Callender was facing termination before he retired in early November and says the department is, quote, committed to providing a workplace that is free from harassment, intimidation, or bullying of any type. Joe Dana, 